Look, see, there's another. He's smiling. The police officer just rode by smiling. This is a public hazard. <laughs> We are so back. Happy Tuesday, everyone. I'm Cam, and this is Cam's Corner, and what an episode we have in store for you here today. We're outside the Worcester Common in front of the Turtle Boy statue as we have Mike Shu and Adam Webster finishing the bet. Hello, how are you? Mike Meyer, CEO of the Worcester Railers, is going to paint the Islanders logo on Mike Shu's bare chest. Without further ado, let's check it out. Come on, Johnny, let's go. Let's check it out. You mind? It's been a long time since I've done this. Well, the bet is being served here at the Turtle Boy statue outside of the Worcester Common. I'm here with Adam Webster from 98.9 Nash Icon. We've got our friends from the pike as well, Mike Shu. Not his friend. You can see behind Not here. Not his friend. We'll leave, we'll leave him alone for now, right now, Adam, but uh, just kind of talk about how this bet unfolded between Woo. you and Mr. Shu back here. So I'm a uh, lifelong uh, Islanders fan, grew up on Long Island and uh, lived there most of my life. And Shu, of course, is a Bruins fan. So when the Bruins and Islanders played in the uh, second round of the playoffs, he challenged me to a uh, bet I was very nervous, but I agreed because I was not confident that the Islanders would take this one. And we allowed the listeners to come up with what the bet would be. And I gotta be honest, this is probably the most tame of the ideas that we had. It was to paint the logo. Uh, and we decided to have uh, Mike Myers from the Railers, of course, who paints uh, goalie masks, paint the uh, logo of the uh, winning team on the chest of the losing participant and then reenact turtle boy so i got our friends from the southwick zoo to bring a, a little turtle as well and i don't even consider myself to winning this bet it's just not losing the bet <laughs> awesome let's go uh, let's go check out some of the action it seems like they're making some progress here maybe handle the no, the uh, weight of the turtle I understand. you know where are the police <laughs> this is an unlawful gathering we, and it should be broken up. We're find out there was that one one nine one one call from Mike Shu. I know. Before this happened. Something about if the Islanders advance in the next round, it's a permanent tattoo. No, none of this. None of it. So Mike, you shaved your chest last night? Yes, I did. How how much was that a chore for you? It took like an hour. Did it really? No, well I don't know, maybe a half an hour. I was, I, have, I had a lot of hair. Look, see, there's another. He's smiling. The police officer just rode by smiling. This is a public hazard. What's this? Uh, no, no, no. This is. There, there's kids here. No. Oh, no. I'm here with Diana now from Southwick Zoo and our friend Squirt. Squirt, how are we doing today, buddy? Squirt is thrilled to be here today, hanging out in Worcester. Now, Diana, I have to ask you when you got the call, did you know what you were signing up for when you showed up today? I definitely had to look up what the Turtle Boy statue was to make sure that it wasn't anything too extreme for Squirt. But once we got some info, we knew that we were ready to go. He's kind of our go-to guy for any sort of education, any sort of events. He's a professional at his job. Now Squirt, let me ask you something. What do you think of what is happening going on behind us? No comment, and I think that sums it up. Diana, thanks for coming out uh, here this morning, and thanks for bringing Squirt. You're welcome. I don't want any of this stuff in October or after this, on the Jumbotron. I don't want any of this stuff. No, no, not, none of it. I don't, I don't want to see any of it. Is that it? Oh, sorry. Well done, sir. All right, get a good eye full, because this is never going to happen again. And I'm never, yeah, thank you, sir, again. Never, I'm never gonna bet on the Bruins again in my life. So I'd like to thank the Boston Bruins organization for this happening to me. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, all right, here we go. Okay. Bend at the knees. Okay. You're gonna wanna bend at the knees and have an awkward smile on your face. Oh, yeah. There's not gonna be any other kind thing, of smile. Huh? All right, there we go, you ready? <laughs> Sorry, Tuca. Hey, hey. 
Well, we are in front of the Turtle Boy statue. We've got tracks over here. Mike Shu from 100 FM The Pike. Beautiful Islanders logo painted. And Mike Myers from the Worcester Railers. Shu, we'll start with you. We talked to Adam earlier about the bet, and uh, mm -hmm. you definitely paid up uh, here this afternoon. Well, you know, uh, you got to pay up on your bets. I don't want to be a welcher. And the Islanders, uh, despite having the refs in their pockets, uh, actually uh, did a good job. And uh, if you edit that, then I'm, I'm calling you out. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know, this was this was fun. Uh, now I got to hear about it from Adam for the rest of my life. And, and uh, but Michelangelo Myers over here <laughs> did a really great job. And I'm really surprised about this. I'm consider I'm going to the uh, the Woo Sox game tonight. I'm considering keeping this on if they let me in without a shirt. Uh, but yeah, this has been an experience. Um, this is what working in radio is all about, kids, right here. Mizey, we came to you this morning and asked you if you had ever painted the New York Islanders logo, and it was a quick answer. It was a hard no. So we printed the logo out for you, and after about 20 minutes or so, voila. Talk about uh, painting a, painting this uh, logo on the, on the chest of, of Mike Shue. I think I said I never painted it on a human body before. I have, uh, I have painted the logo before, but it's been a while, so we just, uh, yeah, brought, brought it out. Nice sunny day. It's always a good day for painting. On bodies. On bodies. Yes. Mike, you and Adam, uh, this is bet number one. I can't wait to see what's in store. Oh, no, uh, no. Continue no. on. We're just betting pizzas next time. I've learned my lesson. This is never going to happen again. We'll never. We'll see about that.